The BF-109, known for its prominent nose cannon that fired through the propeller spinner, is a widely recognized fighter aircraft. This unique design choice was driven by practicality and necessity. Being the most produced fighter in history, with over 34,000 units built, the BF-109 had a diverse range of armament options. However, all variants featured a centrally mounted nose cannon that fired through the propeller hub. The development of the BF-109 began in 1933, with competing German manufacturers striving to meet the requirements set forth. Messerschmitt's proposal, known as P.1034, initially included two 7.92mm machine guns positioned in front of the cockpit and above the engine. These guns had to be synchronized to fire through the propeller, a design inherited from World War I-era aircraft. This configuration allowed for a more centralized center of gravity, enabling thinner and lighter wings for improved performance and reduced drag. Consequently, the BF-109 was not originally intended to have wing-mounted weapons. However, as the 1930s progressed, other aircraft around the world began incorporating a larger array of weapons in their wings. In order to avoid being at a firepower disadvantage, Messerschmitt had to increase the number of guns on the BF-109. Since the wings were not designed to accommodate additional guns, a solution was found by placing a gun in the engine, which would fire through a hollow propeller hub. This arrangement, known as a motor cannon, initially featured a 20mm cannon, but later variants included a 30mm nose cannon. The inclusion of this feature had been considered early on, making its implementation relatively straightforward. To further enhance firepower, Messerschmitt eventually replaced the guns above the nose with 13mm machine guns in certain variants, resulting in a total of three weapons in the nose. Overall, the BF-109's distinctive nose cannon arrangement was an innovative response to the need for increased armament in a fighter aircraft with limited wing space. The mechanics of a nose cannon may seem complex, but understanding how it works is actually quite simple. The key is that the cannon is not actually placed inside the engine. Let's take the example of the BF-109 aircraft. It was powered by the DB601 and DB605 engines, both of which were V12 engines with 12 cylinders arranged in a V-shape. Each side of the V had six cylinders, forming cylinder banks. Interestingly, the BF109 had inverted engines, meaning the V was upside down. This was done to improve the pilot's visibility and make maintenance easier. Now, you might wonder how the cannon fires through the propeller if it's located between the cylinder banks. Shouldn't it be in line with the engine's crankshaft? The answer is actually quite simple. The BF-109's propeller was not in line with the crankshaft. It was slightly lower due to a reduction gear system. This arrangement allowed the propeller to be perfectly aligned with the cannon. In the case of the BF-109, the MG-151 20mm cannon was mounted slightly behind the engine, with its barrel protruding into a blast tube fixed between the cylinder banks. The propeller hub was mounted around this setup and connected to the crankshaft through the reduction gear. Some later models, like the BF-109G and BF-109K, even had a larger 30mm cannon firing through the nose. So, in summary, the nose cannon is not actually inside the engine. It is cleverly positioned and aligned with the propeller through a reduction gear system, allowing it to fire without interfering with the engine's mechanics. Placing a weapon in this unusual position has several advantages. Firstly, the positioning of the weapon in the nose of the aircraft ensures that the nose cannon remains warm and prevents it from freezing or jamming. Additionally, this placement brings the center of gravity of the aircraft closer to the roll axis, which has the potential to enhance the roll rate and maneuverability. However, the most significant advantage lies in the accuracy of the weapon. When guns are mounted on the wings, they do not fire directly forward but slightly inward, causing the streams of projectiles from each wing to eventually converge at a specific point. This establishes an effective range where the guns are most precise. On the other hand, nose cannons are densely packed and all fire forward in a concentrated beam, as seen on the P-38. The BF-109 achieved all of these benefits by mounting one of its weapons between the cylinder banks, allowing it to fire through the nose. 
This configuration reduced drag, improved accuracy, and maintained the weapon at an optimal temperature.